Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true dead. welcome back to Fallout 4, you only live once. Well, last time, we ticked another one off the list, Automatron is done, and that leaves only the main game, which is going to be dealt with a little bit differently. You see, as you've probably noticed, we've been doing a lot of work for the Minutemen over this entire run. And yes, indeed, we're going towards that ending. But that ending is a little bit interesting. Those guys being settlement builders, it involves settlements. In particular, the castle. So before we can take another step forward today, we need to make sure that place is ludicrously well defended. And I know how we're going to do it. You see, contrary to the name, Gun Nut isn't just for gun crafting, and science down over here, that's not just for laser weaponry. There's another really important secondary bonus to taking all this. And that's turrets for when you're trying to defend a settlement. That precise thing I was just saying we're going to need to do. The basic machine gun turret will do fine at low levels against basic raiders, but against tougher stuff, no, not so much. It falls behind pretty fast, but... As you start going up the tech tree a bit, heavy machine gun turret, that does, uh, you know, not bad, all things considered. But do we just uh, keep going for just a little bit longer, ultimately leading to the missile turret. Now, if you've never seen this thing in action, you're in for a treat today. Because this bastard is ludicrous. It is uh, so dumb. You might think it just, you know, works like a missile launcher. Fires a missile, reloads, fires another. No, it is a death-spitting doom machine and we want them. Now, I'm going to be honest. I was expecting to be needing oil, but I've got enough oil for three already and I might be able to get a bit more oil pretty easily too. So, okay. Screws. There's something I wasn't expecting to be that shy of at this point in the game. You see, oil's really bloody difficult to get hold of. It's really in short supply. And the game seems to know this because there is another way to get it. Just like there's another way to get adhesive. Another really important thing you're very often going to be shy of. And that's cutting fluid at a chemistry workstation. For that, you need a bit of water, a bit of steel, a bit of acid. But you also need a lot of bone. Like, so much bone. So just need to go and find out how much bone I've got. Okay, I make that 12, but you need 8 bone for a cutting fluid, so we're going to be needing some more bones, and I know precisely where we need to go to get them. Those screws so low while I'm passing by, yeah, let's go to Diamond City and see what we can get. Screws are pretty easy to buy, so okay, whole bunch of legendaries we can just uh, trade out for that. Okay, step one, nip to Diamond City just to pick up anything with uh, screws or oil in it. Got me about 8 screws, but okay. More plans that I'm making up as I go along, but it's going to be fine. While we're passing by, though, yeah, I've got enough to make at least one cutting fluid, so that'll get a bit of weight out of my inventory at the bare minimum. Step two, literally round the corner, the Fen Street sewer. I just want to nip down into here, and by the way, can I have... Okay, I feel like I could find a way to get some bones out of this skeleton, but whatever, eh? Because, yeah, Fallout 4 is weird. You can only get bone out of uh, pre-chopped up skeletons, which is uh, bloody convenient because uh, this area is full of skeletons, though. Okay, I was kind of hoping for... Why can I not pick up these skeletons game? I know the skeletons bloody everywhere. I feel like I should be able to scavenge these skeletons. Because, yes, a serial murderer has set up a whole bunch of skeletons to taunt a detective. Presumably, that was him up there. Uh, unfortunately, everybody kind of died uh, due to bombs and nukes and whatnot. So, okay. I know there's skeletons here. And by the way, that's a toy car. So that's a screw. So, okay. The thing I didn't want, I've got. That's nice at the bare minimum. I know there are skeletons in here. I just don't know whether I really want to go into this area. Because it is... It's ghouly. But it's very basic ghouly. In a way. I'll just take you guys out and... Okay, well I see more skeletons. Because yes, the skeletons... Oh, I can have the skull. Okay, can I have any more? Like, can I have uh, the legs or anything? I'll take the... This is so bloody weird. Okay, well, I'll take the flip lighter, because that's oils. That's just me skipping ahead in the process. Also, do not bring 
I could have brought. Hang about. Just, just give me more. Give me more. No, that's that's just the bucket. That's bloody useless. It's so weird in Fallout 4 how hard it is to get hold of bones in a world full of skeletons, but there we flipping go, eh? I mean, there's a handful of ghouls just dotted about, but these are low-level ghouls. Uh, yeah, kind of tied to uh, the local area. So, they're fine. I'm really just here for the skeletons. Okay, just just give me some skeletons, please. Right, one more ghoul goes down. I think I just saw... Yep, there's bones. That's what we want. i just make sure I'm not about to be... You're fine. That scanning ghouls is good. Uh, really... Really should have brought my targeting thing along, by the way. And, oh, here we are. Right, that's all we need. That's the good stuff right there. I'll be taking all this, thank you. Okay, back at town, flipping spectacular. That will do. That's got to be plenty of oil for what I need. Right, grabbed a couple of desk fans that were just being conveniently not looked at in Diamond City. But I think I know where we're going to be getting the rest of it from. Step whatever number comes next, I've forgotten where we got to. Uh, yes indeed. Police stations have uh, a lot of handcuffs, a lot of uh, typewriters, often a handful of fans. So I shan't be saying no to any of that good source of beautiful, beautiful screws. And if I did need more bones, yeah, my next stop would be the outpost. Because gore banks can generate bones, that's a really good source of them. But I feel like I'm okay in that regard for now. Okay, maybe a handful of screws, but again, it's more oil than screws. It's downright weird. Not what I was expecting, but okay. I can't think where I'm going to be able to harvest too many more screws now. Best thing we can probably do is, uh, yeah, pack up, head out towards the castle. There's one more location that might be useful on the way. Oh, go on, Fraternal Outpost. You've got desks. That might mean fans or typewriters. You know, it struck me just after I clicked on the door. Um, I never actually cleared this place, actually. Like, this was the place where... Yeah, the alarm's going off. And a whole bunch of them followed me outside. But that doesn't mean that they're all... No, that was just the wibble on my own rifle. I thought I saw something uh, moving on the, um, on the right. Okay, there's got to be nothing if I've not seen anything so far. It's A-OK. -okay. Just check the desk and then be on your way. There we go, you see. Shan't say no to that. And plenty more bones as I expected. Okay, back at base, what I've got is gonna have to do. I've broken it all down to make it easier to carry, and yeah, I've now got enough bones to pick up, uh, yeah, one more cutting fluid, that'll do. Let's base this on the amount of oil I can get together. Okay, pre-broken down for weight, unless I've missed something, that makes that, uh, 37. You need six for a missile turret, so that is six of them, I can afford to build right now. That means I should take the materials, or at least as many as I've got, to build six. Gotcha. Now, unfortunately, six would be, yeah, 30 screws. I've only got, after breaking down everything, 22. Though, you know what? Take the pre-war money, have a nap, I'm getting super tired anyway, go back to Diamond City and speak to Mirna. She's got a separate inventory to Percy. So during the day, might be able to get a final handful of screws. Yep, seven hours. Here we go. Now, I've been good. I've not used many drugs. This should be fine, right? And... Peckish, well-rested. Not sick at all. Beautiful. Though, actually, I'm getting a bit low on food. Hang on, I think I've got more gate claw steaks in here. Right, back to the city. One more cutting fluid. And there we go. Just what I was hoping for. Okay. I believe that should be enough for, yeah, five and just shy of six. But as I say, there might be something we could do about that en route. Time to head over to the castle. Here we go. Jamaica Plain. Nice part of my route. And uh, several shops and whatnot. Big office building, etc. Well, one... Pre-war money I never bothered uh, taking out. Two is that... Oh, my. Several antifreeze bottles will be taking that. Thank you. Because, yeah, that is uh, some good drugs. Uh, 
right there. Come on, somebody has got to have a fan somewhere. It looks pretty bloody warm around these parts. No, I see nothing else. We're just going to have to make do with what we've got. Right, welcome back to the castle. No trouble at all. Let's dump some stuff here. Okay, feeling much better about my weight capacity already. And uh, there was a whole bunch of stuff here anyway, so I might have uh, more than I'm expecting. Oh, that's precisely what I wanted to see. I have got just enough for six missile turrets. So hang on, what's the... What's the limiting factor? Because it looks to me like... Oh, it's still oil. Okay, it's still oil. So, 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 so. Here's what's going to happen. I'm about to declare war on the Institute. And they're going to say, well, I don't appreciate that. I'm going to come and murder you. Which is a bit harsh, to be honest. But what can you do? Now, you'd think what they would do would be teleport all their best troops into the middle of the castle. So you don't need to take on the defences. Which they do like 10% of the time. But mostly don't bother. Instead, they teleport outside the castle and then try and storm it. So, here's what we want to do. The missile turrets, they're the killers. So, what I would like is, yeah, probably two up in this direction. That's probably pretty good right there. They will need power. I'll need to um, power them up. So, actually, you know what? I should probably make sure that's ready to go too. And also, the generators are nice and hidden as far as possible. Okay, step one, I have just wired the first two into a great big grit. So there's no generator that might be taken out by accident. These two are now my primary killers, meaning I want other turrets to potentially be drawing the fire away. That's heavy machine gun, that's fine. That guy will actually do surprisingly competently right at the front. But I believe there are some smaller, lighter turrets down over in this direction. Actually, you're heavy. You're heavy, which is pretty good. You're light. Okay. So a light machine gun turret, its job is to draw the fire. So my main turrets are not. There are. Wow. Okay. I built a few heavy machine gun turrets. Those are good. Those are really good. But we're going to be wanting some facing internally. Because as I say, there are a small number of synths that are smart enough to say, Actually, how about we don't walk up to the defences and uh, whatnot? How about that's a terrible idea? So, I want one of you guys uh, over here, if you'd be so kind. These guys don't need power, which is really, really damn nice. So, one of you just face internally over here, covering uh, this whole area. Right, missile turrets the next. These guys are, yeah, potentially wanting to fire more in... Uh, this sort of a direction, though. Whether I want them to fire that early or not is uh, questionable. I can't move this flagpole. I don't want that to get in the way. So I feel like actually maybe the far side is more sensible. So that, yeah, they'll start firing on that girl first. Then again, that means that girl is now a little bit too far forward. Uh, yeah, we'll have uh, all the missiles uh, the far side over here. And seriously, this is going to keep out the enemy because even I can't get over it apparently. Oh yeah, now this here. This is a good angle for a couple of turrets. That is going to do devastating work. Now I'll have an extra third on this side because to my mind, yeah, actually it's the front door that's the most problematic. Though I just need to wire these all to each other and then wire them into the network too. Okay, and one last one. This one is maybe dubious, actually. Do I want one missile turret pointing internally to deal with internal threats? Because it could, in theory, shoot me. Okay, I'm going to be mostly on this side of the castle, because for some reason they always seem to drift over to the far side. So, having one would not be... Be the problem is there are courses. Courses uh, will straight up come in and uh, attack with this. And no, don't store it. Wire it into the network, please. Though I suspect we do we have enough power. And irritatingly, though the game says I can build generators, I can't. So I can't actually power those uh, laser things. Though to be honest, they're useless. So we don't really need them for uh, for anything. They wouldn't really be contributing. I'm guessing it's because whatever I've got that's ceramic, it's actually a quest item of some description. I don't know what it is, but we're just going to have to make do. To be honest, 
yeah, the heavy turrets and the missile turrets should do just fine. And I could, if I wanted to, yeah, just bring some more ceramic along with me later. I need, yeah, more copper, more ceramic. Remember to bring that with me next time. But for the minute at least, this is everything we need. All right, we have got ourselves a turrets, heavy turrets, missile turrets pointing in that direction. One missile turret pointing in this direction to deal with any stragglers that might show up. And then, yeah, over here, another internal heavy together with, I think there's one, yeah, one heavy down there backed up by a whole line of, excuse me, that's no good at all. Right, 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 right. Um, so, how much do you guys really need water? Here we go. Just store this away nice and fast. So, the water's now down to three, which shouldn't be enough, but whatever. And we're still bloody shy. Okay, I'll bring more ceramic with me in a second. It's good enough for now. And just one more thing with my last handful of resources. I want that to just be a little bit of cover inside this base so from uh, yeah my hiding point right here i can make it nice and safe to this area i just want a little bit of cover so i can you know sprint back into my coward area while nice and protected that'll do nicely and that means of course the next move is declare war and that's harder than you might expect leaving the institute you can't just you know go up to sean and say hey it's been fun but i'm gonna do my own thing shake hands off you go no 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 there's only one point in the game you can do that just after bunker hill but uh, unfortunately that would mean doing two missions for the institute i don't want to do so as a result of that that means i need to leave under negative terms. Now, if I went far enough down the path with, say, the Brotherhood, that would be war automatically, but I don't want to do that, because that's several missions away with the Brotherhood, and would involve me taking out the entire railroad, which there is actually a good way to do that, but I don't want to do it, because there is needless risk. I want to declare war on them right now, meaning I need to go into the Institute and start shooting, which I know sounds really dumb, and it is, but even then, it might not be 100% what you're expecting. So, alright, let's teleport in and make this happen. You see, here's the weird thing. If you start shooting up the Institute, they kind of don't care. Now, if I start shooting, if nobody sees it, they don't care. If somebody sees it, they might start shooting at me. But if I just go away for a day, they'll decide to forgive and forget. No trouble whatsoever. That means... I need to kill a named character. Then, you need to make your way back to the teleporter room. You may recall, of course, the way we came into the Institute was uh, this elevator right here, as we ran into Sean, and then ran into real Sean. So, as a result of that, this is where I want to be. And if I just go onto this balcony, yeah, random uh, uh, synths and scientists, they're not going to do the job. However, 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 I may need to be a bit patient, but... The balconies over there are assigned to named characters. Really bloody minor ones. I am of course aware, by the way, uh, Sean is just upstairs. So going in, assassinating Sean, stepping out would actually be by far the easiest option. However, we're not going to be doing that because we need him later. Oh, hang about. Okay, these weren't the people I was planning on, but everybody seems to be changing shift. I mean, Newton's right there. All right, get in. I'm very sorry. And, okay, since our attention has been failed, that's good. The fact that that mission has now been failed means uh, I have now been kicked out because the named person is dead. Now we need to get the flip out now. There we go, banished from the Institute. So, to escape, I now need to go back to the starting area but this area should be pretty much no trouble there's like no one around here at all so just sneak through this area and then main elevator back to the teleporter room straight out no trouble i say no trouble i've just lost the teleporter which is uh, i mean not good i enjoyed the teleporter there's everyone over there by the way and I could actually snipe that guy 
from inside the elevator by the Luxie of it. But we're not going to. That'd be mean and unnecessary. There's father. Bye, Sean. Um, he'll be having a word with me in a moment. Because, obviously, uh, he knows. Because I'm the only person who uses a sniper rifle. Should have used energy weapons. Alright, that there. That would have been the clever option. All you do is push the button and wait. Where the game does like a big dramatic 10 seconds until something, something, something. And it sounds like they're going to make you like, you know, um, hold out against waves of enemies or something. But I don't think any ever show up. I'm not sure if there's a trigger for them or something, but, like, given how slow the countdown is, you might reasonably expect, hey, there's some form of, uh, you know, holdout scenario going on here. Then mine up the doors, etc. But, um, no, it just gets to five, and then Sean tells me he's really disappointed in me. Yep, there we go. Bye, Sean. Sorry about that. Anyway, as soon as he's done with his evil villain speech, we will be on our way, and that's it. That is the last time we'll be seeing the Institute until we're ready to storm the place, which is, I mean, hopefully, pretty bloody soon, actually. And there we go. Banished from the Institute complete. For some reason, yes, when you're banished, you teleport to here, which is a different spot from... Every other time, you teleport out. I don't know why, it's just different. So, there we go. No more teleporting. So that's sad. That was really bloody useful. But, uh, needs must. It's either lose the teleport or work with the Institute. And uh, the Institute's final assault on the Boston Airport is uh, bananas nonsense. That's just an absolute no-go. So, we're not going to be doing that. Instead... Uh, Back to base. It's time to, yeah, grab some food, water, and the components we need to make more generators. Right, that there should be plenty enough of everything we need. I love it. And I think on balance, yeah, I'd rather go in sneakier without power armor than better protected with. That's going to be the better option. I'm going in without. Let's go. It is time for war. You know, I've just realized something truly horrific. So, as soon as I do this next mission, the Brotherhood are going to realize, oh wait, he kind of seems to be on the Minutemen side. And then we'll be jumping straight to the Minutemen. Ending sooner or later, the Brotherhood are going to realize I'm not their guy anymore. Meaning, uh, this pathway, it's kind of important there are no enemies on it and... Uh, and no, there aren't any enemies on it, with the exception of the true hero, who... Oh, buddy. I'm so sorry. Okay, just, just close your eyes, don't look. Nobody look. And very dramatic. Sorry, I can't deny I was looking. It's fine. Nobody knows about that. It was a mistake. Obviously, that was a mistake. And uh, with that... The greatest hero in the Commonwealth has died. I am clearly the bad guy here. Oh, hello, sexy. Um, en route, there's just... Okay, just... Legendary Savage Deathclaw, which is... Fascinating. Okay, I'd say that's, um... Yeah, that's justified going for crit to the belly. So you can just explode, buddy. All right, don't worry. Legendary Savage Death Claws are, you know, dangerous, but not that dangerous. John, reload your weapons. All right, there's no reason not to. Just keep it nice and come on, game. That was a big elite enemy that I just embarrassed. I want something good out of that. And uh, come on, uh, cross your fingers. Something amazing at this final moment before we get into war. And enraging 10 millimeter. Hilarious game, I love you too. Okay, coming up on the castle. Here's what's going to happen. The Institute are officially about to attack us. Preston Garvey really wants to tell me about it. The moment I arrive, he's going to run up to me and say, Oh my flipping goodness, they're coming in. What the flip did you do? And then there'll be a moment before they start arriving. Then they'll come in waves and I'll have a percentage keep protecting the castle. While we're protecting the castle, I can't go into repair mode or anything. So if a turret goes down, it just goes down. That's why I've been putting decoy turrets up front. This means what I need to do is 
get the turrets built before acknowledging Preston in any way. Unless Preston refuses to speak to me, in which case the game's kind of bugged out and we're going to need to rethink everything. So I'm kind of, you know, pro Preston running up to me and kind of anti. We'll have to bloody say. Okay, in we go, in we go, in we go and just get over to cover. Everyone's looking... Okay. Pretty chill, actually. And... We'll kick their butts. Good. Excellent. That sounds like you're preparing for war. Now, okay. Quickly. Quickly. Power. Generators. Yes. Build generators. Build more bloody generators. Just build all the generators. Okay. Now, just wire them all together. I'm putting them in here so they're safe. And then wire you into the network. Defend the castle. Okay. I have now got power of... 33, which is... I just leveled up. I thought I just took damage for some reason. Bad wiring. Okay, so... Okay, defend the castle is now happening. Is it started? Has it actually started? I don't know if it started. Okay, I just need to... I need to check. I think it can't start till I've spoken to Preston. I just need to check all the turrets now appear to be operating correctly. And... Okay, they're all turning. All right, so I think they uh, aren't going to attack. It is day, which is unfortunate. I didn't want day. I wanted a night fight. I can stay more hidden at night. And seriously, just be careful. All operating. Yeah, and the turrets down there are now operating. Good. Plenty of uh, spare power. I think I might need to speak to Ronnie first. And please don't screw me over. Okay? Just... The plan is I'm going to be spending a lot of time hiding in my coward hole. Okay, but there might come a time when, yeah, some enemies get stuck up the side of the base or my friends can't path to them or they can't path to me where I might need to get involved. In particular, when it comes to coursers who can go invisible. So coursers, if you see them, in fact, you know, I'm just going straight over to this old girl. If you see them, crit them in the head. All right, if they go invisible, psycho jet and staggering. Just nail them. But all right, I think it can't begin till we've spoken to either Preston or Ronnie. So, everybody get ready. Good flipping luck. Here we go. Defend the cast is now at 0%, meaning I now want to get the flip out of dodge for the time being. I'm gonna hide in here and... Okay, I'm not the only person cowarding out. Just listen. For the time being. Stay back. We've got cover right here. There we go. Oh, there go the missile turrets, by the way. There go the cocky missile turrets. And that's uh that's one wave dead already. Good. Good, good, good. So just look at that. They're doing good work. I'm not sure I even get the uh the XP, but that's a lot of cocking fire that's being laid down. There's 10%. There's 10% right over there. I am here providing back up to anyone who teleports inside or bypasses our defences in any other way. But the missile turrets are going to be doing the vast majority of the work. It's going to be devastating. Just watch out. The laser turrets internally will let me know if there's a trouble and I hear fire on all sides. If they turn 20%, okay. Wave 1, so far manageable. All right, I'm staying out of this one. Just keep your head down. There we go. You see, look at that. They start coming in. Synth Patroller, 65% are just taking you out. Unfortunate, but I need them to not... Okay, well, he's dead now. Good, 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 good. Watch out for the courses. Okay, courses are going to start coming in. I'm just going to stick with this. Okay, there we go. Someone teleported up there. Hopefully, they don't nuke each other. I'm parched. The biggest problem in the world right now, obviously... All right, well, maybe a quarter of the way through. I've not seen a Corsa yet, but remember, they can't just go invisible. They need to do the actual little animation. So just watch for that. And there we go. So just showed themselves and was annihilated. Oh, check for Corsas. Any Corsas? I see no Corsas, so in which case, just staggering. Boost mine. Never mind, I'm already where I should be. Laser turret is looking good. Recon again, 50%. Yeah, they're coming in. They do teleport internally on occasion. Some waves inside, 60%. This is uh, this is going smooth so far. I've not seen a single Corsa. Okay, northwest. That's this direction. So they're coming in the front door. 
What are we saying? I'm going to nip up top here. Because as you've seen, they always come from one particular direction. So I'm going to be less of a coward for the finale here. All right. If we see trouble, just get over here and buddy. 70%. Good. What else have we got here? If I see courses, I will... Oh. I, I, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I regret this. Sorry. I should have been more of a coward. And trouble, trouble, trouble. Do we have any courses? Look for courses. That's my job. My job is courses. All right. And... I don't see them. Die, you bastards. Okay, I feel like I don't want to be here. Actually, there's, there's a lot of explosions. And 80%. What are you even firing on? I think they might be firing on a Corsa. I can't see. They're trying to annihilate something. And that was... Yeah, that was a Corsa. I think the turrets were able to uh, see that when I couldn't. They could just see straight through it. This is... Uh, oh, this is... This is horrific. This is just sad. I think we're just absolutely annihilating them. And... Uh, there we go. They won't be back. So that's why we spent a fair whack of time setting up missile turrets. Because... Oh, yeah, that'll do. That'll do the bloody job. Uh, right, before I speak to uh, Roddy Shaw, to just uh, put this away, I failed tactical thinking, yeah, the Brotherhood now will not be willing to accept my assistance. I've kind of uh, picked a side uh, right this moment. So, okay, I'm just going to check for legendaries. Because, uh, seriously, some of these guys could have been legendaries. Also, courses carry stealth boys, and those are really bloody useful. So... Okay, anybody else want to be a Corsair? Yep, looks like all the turrets up top were basically untouched. The front decoys both went down. Shouldn't really be an issue. All right, Preston, can me and you be civil? It's time for us to strike back against the Institute. I have some good news for you. Sturgis found a way into the Institute. We can launch an attack whenever you say the word. So there we flip and go. He's willing to play ball just as long as we've got a common enemy in the form of the Institute. Spec flipping tacular. I'm done trying to get through to you. Okay, I'm getting mixed messages from you today, Preston. And that means, of course, we are now back on with the Minuteman. Next week, we're going in. There is nothing more that needs to be done. We are going in and waging war against the Institute. It is a long, complicated difficult dungeon, but I have got so many toys and tricks up my sleeve these days. Uh, I think we're ready. I think we can do it. And uh, once that's done, uh, well, I can't help but notice there's some smug floaty bastards uh, over the water who just said to me, oh, you're not good enough to help us anymore. So, uh, yeah, might need to turn our fire on them too. And, uh, oh, now that. That could be an ending with some fireworks, because uh, this has done uh, rather well. Now, just imagine what happens if we were to turn that firepower on an invading force of vertebrates. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. That sounds like the thing to me. So, join me next week for the beginning of the end. We're moving in against the other factions. It is going to be a nerve-wracking fight, but I think we can do it. All right. There was a point. In Nuka World, where I was getting really scared for this run, and uh, we're not home for it yet, but it's possible. It's in our grasp. It is so bloody close. Join us next week for the beginning of the finale. Hopefully, you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Fallout 4. You only live once. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah. We have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.